Hello, I'm Uday Mittal from Yaksha CAC and welcome to the first module of our Exploit Development Basics series. I'm super excited to bring you this series. This is my first attempt at doing this. So please be patient if I make any mistakes. So in this particular series, we'll be covering stack based buffer overflow vulnerabilities and we'll see how to exploit these vulnerabilities and obtain a shell using them. This series is divided into six parts, which I'll cover later. So I'm assuming a few things on your part as a learner that you have a basic knowledge of assembly level language, Kali Linux, Spike fuzzing tool and immunity debugger. However, if you don't know any of these tools or need to learn more about them, please check out the resources at the end of this particular video. So as I said, that's, this series is divided into six parts and uh, we are on the first part that is introduction. Later we'll cover fuzzing, POC creation, controlling the execution, bad character analysis and finally cracking the shell. So the tools we'll be requiring for this module are a virtualization software. It can be VirtualBox or VMware, whichever you are comfortable with. And uh, we'll be needing two operating systems. One is Linux that will be our attacking machine and a Windows machine that will be a target machine. Uh, so for Linux, I will be using Kali Linux 2018.1 as a VM, Spike fuzzing tool which comes inbuilt into Kali Linux, Python 2.7 and Sublime Text or Notepad++. So on Windows, I'll be using Microsoft Windows XP SP3 as a VM, Immunity Debugger, Mona Library for Immunity Debugger, Float FTP Server as a target software and Sublime Text or Notepad++. So don't worry, the download links for these particular tools are available in the description. So please check out the description below. Moving on to the first part, let's have a bird's eye view of what a buffer overflow is. So in very simple language, a buffer overflow is a condition that happens when more data is sent to a variable that it can hold. This leads to excess data being written onto the stack, thereby overwriting registers such as EIP and ESP, which gives us the control of the application which, are, which we are exploiting. So as you can see here in the image below, we have a buffer of six bytes in which we have written YAKSAS. And uh, if we send it more data, that is if we send it YAKSAS ABCD. So this overflows into the adjacent memory locations and this overflow might overwrite few of the uh, stack based registers which will help us in exploiting this vulnerability. So in the next part we will see how to discover this vulnerability and we will also learn about fuzzing an application. So these are the learning resources you can use to learn more about the tools that we are using but in this series. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter for more updates from us.